3D printing gives us the ability to create just about anything we can imagine. So it started off um, more of a prototyping tool. So when people wanted to create something like a fixture and they just wanted to test out a design really quick, they could 3D print it and test it and make uh, design revisions. Um, but then the printers became more sophisticated and other people started using them. Um, so you had uh, artists would start to create stuff like this where now we can create things that have um, really complex geometry that you can manufacture in any other way. Um, and now we can actually print in color. So you can print in full color. Um, and also uh, what's unique about 3D printing is you can, you can print complete working assemblies. So this is how an object might come off of a printer. And then once you wash away the support material, you're gonna have a fully, fully functioning object here. In the gallery, we also have a few printers on display. So this right here is a MakerBot Replicator 2. And this is on uh, your consumer end. So a consumer could buy this, have it in their garage, in your house, kind of create stuff for, for around the house or office. And in the back here, we have the, the very high end of the 3D printers. This is a Stratasys Object Conex 500. And this gives us really high resolution, gives us um, a bunch of different materials that we can work with. We were interested in showing the future of product design when we consider the 3D printing as our actual manufacturing technique. So instead of using 3D printing as just a prototyping tool, we can create these real consumer products. So these speakers right here, these are just normal off-the-shelf speakers, but we, uh, we designed and 3D printed these really cool, unique cases um, that we couldn't have made any other way. So these are on display here at the gallery in San Francisco, so you can come check them out.